into each one of these pieces is phenomenal but today the price is crazy so we have a sale price for you of $99.98 as well as six easy payments of $16.66 if you have gifts for the cook I know we're talking about that but if you have weddings bridal showers anything like that Lake Jose is always one of those items that gets registered for or sometimes people are hesitant to register because it's a pricey brand right here less than a hundred dollars is so good if you were to go on the Lake Jose website for this Dutch oven this is a 2.75 quart Dutch oven this would be two hundred and fifty dollars on the Lake Jose website but here at QVC our sale price less than 100 and you're getting the Dutch oven the color remaining is the cerise which is actually the color that I collect you can also mix and match these and you're also going to get 16 oops there we go. <laughs> 16 recipes. It's K47064. I also want you to know when you get this home, it'll come to you in a box. Make sure you take everything out of the box. Take the stickers off. This thing right here that says Le Crusade, this is actually a sticker. Take all of that off before you use it. Okay, so joining us is Greg Shockley. He's been a chef for, gosh, 15, well, here at QVC for, for 15, about 15 years. years right. But career wise, hey longer. Yeah. Good morning. How are you? Thanks for having me. Um, so, with Le Creuset, what we always think about is the cast iron, yes. right? And, and why is that important? Because it's something that goes back like centuries and centuries. Right. Then we got a little innovative, but we keep coming back to it. Right. It, the reason why we think that cast iron is the best way to cook is the heat retention mm. and the distribution. And that's so important when you're really trying to get beautiful browning like I have right here. We're going to make yeah. a, we're making a pork ragu. But when you're Yum. trying to get that caramelization, you're trying to get that perfect browning, the heat retention allows you to add cold food to your hot pan without reducing the temperature of your pan. And that's where a lot of people fail in the sense that they don't get that beautiful golden brown. Mm -hmm. When you're trying to develop layers of flavor, whether you're making a pork ragu like we have here, whether you're making your meatballs or your chili or whatever you're making, or even baking for that matter, you want to get those great results, that perfect browning, that perfect caramelization, and that's the only thing you can get with is, is with the cast iron that we have right here. And the right. whole thing, and notice, the inside right here, has it's, the whole thing is enamel coated as well, but the inside has that nice quick release, but it also promotes the caramelization that we're looking for. Right, because you want it to stick a little bit. You want it to stick a little bit, but what that's called down here in this in this actual um, application, it's called fond. So that's all those little brown bits on the bottom right there. We always so say we're, we're do, fond of our fond. We're fond of our fond. That means fond. flavor. Fond for that, you at home means more flavor. Exactly right. I know you have a cooking background, <laughs> so you know the deal with that. So we're going to add a little bit of our mirepoix. We're going to add just a little bit of carrots and celery in this case, or carrots and uh, onion in this case. So we're going to mix that up just a little bit, but just for the essence of time, we're going to actually pull this back and we're going to add a little bit of our chicken stock and a little bit of wine. And you'll notice right on the bottom, all that fun that we're talking about mm -hmm. is going to naturally release from the bottom of the pan. And what it's going to do, it's going to create the sauce. So we're making this pork ragu. We're adding a little bit of white wine. We've just added our stock. And then we're going to add a little bit, just very quickly, we're going to add a little bit of our tomato product, which is just a little crushed tomato. Greg, what you just herbs. showed me with putting in the, the stock and the wine, is that, like, let's say I wasn't doing a sauce, is that a good way to just clean the pan, too, if I have those little brown bits, like yeah. maybe just with water? It sure is. That's a okay. great technique. So if you've cooked something and it, you've got a little stick left on your pot, mm -hmm. you can actually put your pot back on the stovetop, add some liquid to it, okay. and sort of deglaze the, it's not a stain, but it's Even a Even if you're not making a sauce, pan. you can still use that technique that he just did. Absolutely, that's definitely a great way to do it as well. Yeah. And then here's our finished version of the pork ragu, and notice, when I take the lid off, the importance of the lid, this is a Dutch oven, so this mm. might be, this is a lot smaller than our typical Dutch oven, but there's a reason. It's more we want manageable. To do this. It's more manageable, it's a very lightweight, in the sense that, you know, just due to the size. It's smaller, yeah. But take a look at the lid. We have this precision made rim right on the ice inside of the lid right here, which fits perfectly to each pan. Mm -hmm. And what that does, that captures all that flavor, all the steam that would typically, you know, be out of your food. You right. would, would release from your pan in the atmosphere is saved. So and oven safe up to how much? Oven safe up to 500 degrees. 500. And that's because normally I'm used to seeing Le Creuset with like these old kind of plastic knobs so they can't always go to 500. This one, this is steel. We've got the stainless steel on there and I love wow. the look of that too and it's perfect. And, and like you said, I know that's David's favorite color and that's my And that's what I collect too. too. So I just want to remind you, your choice this morning is the Cerise. It's incredibly popular, that foodie red color, right? So you have that in the 2.75 quart Dutch oven and you're getting um, 
the 16 recipes included here as well for less than $100. It's $99.98. Even with the shipping and handling of $7.50, which is crazy considering how heavy this is, it's a nice cast iron skillet. Not overwhelmingly heavy. I have this at home. It's fine. Um, this is only about seven pounds. Right. Okay, just to put it in perspective. So manageable. But even with the shipping and handling at the Le Creuset website, this is $250. Right. So you're saving quite a bit by picking it up here at QVC. Plus, we have the six easy payments. Now, Le Creuset, Le Creuset right. I we struggle. Le Creuset? Uh -huh, yes. Le Creuset. Yeah. I struggle because it's French. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> this we is made do. in France, is that right? Yes, it is. It's since 1925, it's been made in the same factory, same foot. Now, actually, we have footage right here, and you're going to see the factory in northern France. Again, same factory. It's been made for almost 100 years. We melt the cast iron. It goes to individual black sand mold. So each wow. sand mold is being destroyed, so each pan is actually really unique in that sense. Incredible. It's cleaned off. It's powder sanded. Then it gets the first coat of enamel on the inside and the outside. It's gonna get the beautiful color, that gradient color on the outside. So a couple coats of color, which is gonna be that nice gradient look. The inside is gonna get that sand enamel. Then it's gonna get you know, the final polish. 15 artisans actually touch this pot before it gets boxed up and shipped to you. So that's the wow. care that it takes. There's our buddy Nate right there boxing up one of his favorites units right there. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna get shipped that's off That signature orange but again, box. That's the care. The 15, the 15 inspections that go into making every Le Creuset pan before it gets to you is what it's all about. And yeah. remember, it's October. Believe it or not, it's actually October. It's I fall. know, it's I know we're thinking Christmas, but that's season. because it's like two months away, not even. I just bowled up this beautiful turkey meatball soup. Oh, yeah. We've got chili. Hey, what says what says kind of, you know, uh, maybe football season in the fall more yeah, than chili? You're right. A great lasagna. And these are awesome too because I mean, my wife and I, look, we're empty nesters right now. And which is great. We only had one of us anyway, but a perfect lasagna, a one pot dishes. Remember, right. I made this beautiful pork ragu in one pot, no more mess, easy cleanup. Mm -hmm. and nice ooey gooey, you get a beautiful look on the outside of this. Well, and at this size of just under three quarts, I mean, that's that's four, five, maybe even six people, yeah, you know, sure depending is. on what you're making here, like a chili, that's a hearty meal. It really is. And you know what else it's really great for? It's great for deep frying. And the like reason this. that it's great for deep frying is that it maintains the perfect temperature. We talked about that heat distribution, that heat yeah. retention. Now, the reason that people find deep frying greasy mm -hmm. or fattening or it's not, you know, it's not crunchy is because the temperature of their oil is either not set right to begin with right. or what happens is that it drops down. Just like when we were sauteing, your pan drops in temperature when you put something cold in. Well, when you put a cold, whether it's french fries or an apple fritter like we're making right here, it naturally wants to drop the temperature of the oil. But with Le Creuset, you get that nice heat retention. It's gonna maintain the perfect temperature for our apple fritters right here. So you can see they're already floating to the top. They're gonna get that beautiful golden brown. They're gonna be wow. crunchy. They're not gonna have that greasy taste. And the reason that greasy taste is because the temperature of the oil was too, uh, too low and it absorbs the oil rather than just kind of searing the outside of the fritter. Right. And then the rest is gonna be tender and juicy and crispy like you really want it. Well, and this brings up a good point because you're doing that on an induction cooktop. Here you were doing it on gas. So right. this is good for a variety of stove tops. It's good for almost and every, oven. right. So glass top, gas like we just demonstrated here. Yes, I have an induction burner right here, which I really love, especially for the deep frying because you can really monitor your temperature. Yeah. It's gonna, of course, maintain the temperature, but on here, I can just set it for 340 degrees and it really keeps a great temperature for frying. And that's, and that's the perfect temperature too. But yeah, whether you wanna use, um, what, what, what did we miss? So we've got gas, we've got electric, we've got glass, we've glass. got induction. You can actually yeah. use it on your outdoor grill too if you wanna use that oh. too. So, you know, any way that you want to cook, you can absolutely use this on whatever cooking surface and you like. And oven safe up to 500 degrees with that lid. The other thing I want to remind you of is this is your color choice here. It's the Cerise. And you're getting this. Remember when you get this at home, take it out of the box, take off the sticker before you use it. You're also getting 16 recipes for $99.98 on Easy Pay. This is $16.66. I know we're talking about gifts for the cook. Um, and so we are certainly talking about the foodies and we're talking about the holidays. However, fall is the biggest season for weddings, a lot of birthdays, things like that. If you know anybody who's getting married, anything like that, a hostess gift, this is fantastic. My um, cousin got married and she registered for a lesser version of Le Creuset. 
Of course, I got her the real thing. But look at this. <laughs> if this was sitting, this is a this is a pan that you want to sit on your stovetop because it's oh, a they're gorgeous. Piece. You want to show it off, but it really complements whatever kitchen you're going to be in too. So it's, yeah, you know, it's really great to have. I keep mine on my stovetop all the time. Yeah, yeah, and remember, we do have the extended um, holiday return policy for gifts until January 31st. No one's returning this though, especially at this price. You're going to wish you had gotten more. Um, thank you so much, Greg.